Well guys, another beautiful day here in Pangloa. Such a lovely day. You never know, it could be the rain after after the midday. I'm gonna talk about uh, a living on a houseboat on this region. As we see, there is an array of different kind of boats here. And that symbolizes for me the freedom. With this machine you can cross the oceans, you can travel between the islands, and it's driven by the wind, so it's maximum freedom. Only if you have a skills you, you can manage anything in, on this planet Earth. You can go anywhere, stay anywhere, and reasonable comfort and uh, speed and safety is here. Well, yeah. A machine like this enables you to accomplish all our uh, uh, industrialized world people dreams. Dreams of the traveling and seeing uh, far distant places and living, living in a tropical environment, living uh, tropical vibes. As you see, foldable, which is very important for the United States, for the Europe, Australia industrialized world in one word where you can put this uh, machine on a trailer and you can uh, pull it with you but uh, for the local places as in southeast asia philippines uh, vietnam yeah, malaysia thailand indonesia that wouldn't be so important it could be uh, made in such a way that you have more cabin space then you have a more uh, place on outer ears for your entertainment for the sitting on the nets and so on and out outer ears could be a little bit more distant that uh, you have more stability but of course you mo have more stability you need to have a little bit stronger outer ear system because each and other thing costs something if you want to have a little bit more luxury of more place you need to have a more stronger structure so the stronger structure gonna add the weight so your drive gonna be bigger there's always some kind of penalty for any comfort for any anything what you want in life it's some kind of payment but in general the machine like this uh, it's uh, one of the best options to travel the islands. You can beach this boat and uh, put on the ground. Of course, you need to understand where is a suitable place, where is a muddy, sandy place, where is no rocks. But if you build this machine out of aluminium, so you can have a system under the uh, amas and also the main hull, you have a system, you have a, um, a specific uh, supporting mechanisms. Uh, sometimes we we'll call that a sacrificial keel, but some kind of the keel which is made from aluminium. So you always will be uh, having this kind of sledge and uh, you will be able to beach on that. So you're not going to be uh, supporting the weight of the boat on the, on the armas, on the hull but uh, on some kind of structure. What kind of structure? Well, you can invent in many different ways. Most uh, easiest way, of course, is kind of sacrificial keel. Uh, so, but uh, once you use aluminum, your doors are for invention open, so you can uh, utilize and uh, invent so many different approaches and things, how you can um, safely beach your boat and uh, there is also <clears throat> systems how you can uh, move the boat on the, on the beach, but uh, we're going to touch upon that a little bit later. What kind of uh, propulsion systems you can use here? Well, in my opinion, everything goes in the side of electricity. We're going to see more and more electrical transportation. We're going to see the roof panels, which uh, enables you to travel maybe around 100 to 150 kilometers in a day which is totally sufficient for the boat like this uh, if you have a, another sunny day but if you have a cloudy day then this could be the more limited range so 
we're going to be talking more about options how you can travel the oceans and, and, and di far distances only with the battery propulsion there's a new yacht uh, as you know the line of the yacht which is called silent new silent 60 just was launched uh, a few months ago they have a silent 55 60 and 18 plants so the trimarans uh, sorry catamarans which travels only by solar propulsion of course it's possible to build in the hybrid systems when you have uh, your uh, diesel engine but uh, uh, your main source of the propulsion is electricity also possible here could be driven also by the solar panels you can install the sol solar panels on the roof install the electrical propulsion system and you're good to go between islands I guess maybe around uh, 30 kilometers in a day this could be done with ease with this one but this is uh, more like a service vehicle maybe some uh, business vehicle to transport the tourists between islands thunder is here <laughs> Well, the weather is unpredictable now, yeah, you never know. 20 minutes ago it was sunny, and now it could be even rainy. Well, yeah, that's the beautiful uh, trimaran. Speed machine, freedom, wind in, uh, in your ear, and you're good to go. So many options, so many opportunities in, uh, with the machines like this. Definitely island hopping here in the region between the Philippine Islands definitely you can go uh, for uh, Indonesia you can go for uh, Malaysia and you can cross the oceans with this machine definitely there is no no doubts about that definitely as a, a living place so you have an outriggers nets and so more uh, living space so you can enjoy your comfort and your security inside in a, in a, in a cockpit and then you can enjoy the outside life around your trimaran. Two beautiful examples. We have a catamaran over there. That's the plywood and fiberglass catamaran. I was talking with owner last year on the beach. Two guys from Europe building the stuff, traveling the places around. Well, interesting, but uh, kind of amateur. That's one uh, professional build uh, machine. Beautiful trimaran houseboat. Living here in Southeast Asia is going to be uh, so many new things for you. You see the social structures and the lifestyle is very dif different than we have back in Europe. So for me, uh, enjoy the lifestyle which is here is very difficult because of the noise, doggies and uh, pollution and so on. So uh, in this regard, like best way to enjoy the surroundings for me, of course, could be also for you. Uh, is a houseboat lifestyle the freedom which this boat gives you you can travel from one destination to another destination you can live on this beautiful houseboat for the long term you can live monthly and yearly it's not like one or two or three days you can stay in different places one month two months maybe half of the year so in this way you can travel around the islands for the many many years and then once you're done with one country you can go to another country it's a uh, close proximity to beautiful Borneo Island Indonesia, Malaysia, and of course you can go up uh, to uh, Sumatra, you can go up to the Komodo Islands and uh, you can explore Indonesia and then you can go to um, Thailand and then uh, Vietnam. There's so many places where you can go with this thing. The height of the pontons is around uh, 1 meter 20, 1 meter, uh, yeah, 1 meter 20 approximately. So you can see my shoulder line 178 it should be around 2 meters high if it's 2 meters high then it could be ocean going but even with this one uh, with the modifications uh, you can manage definitely crossing the islands and, and, and uh, definitely nearby islands and uh, Cebu uh, Sikihor, Negros and so on so sea going capabilities are here the ocean going yeah well that's that's uh, manageable but you need to have a preparation for that propulsion systems also could be different this one is very good because this boat is very light structure 
as always in uh, bolting life on any any also transportation even the cars and airplanes more weight you add more you pay for that more fuel uh, in this case with the bolts bigger draft if you see here the draft is around uh, 30 40 centimeters only that's amazing in a, in a little bit more uh, weight, if you put uh, people on board and the fuel, it could be 50, maybe 60, 50, 50, 60 centimeters only. So the draft is very good. And uh, more serious engines you put inside, more weight you put, uh, the more draft you have. So it's not going to be possible to go in uh, shallow places. Light fiberglass pontoons secure enough strong enough for the local traveling simple structures like those one plywood structures are, uh, are capable and uh, the people manage safe return to home with those in, in our opinion as a European of course the this wooden plywood structure is not even considerable if they can manage well then the structure like this will manage for sure uh, one option first one you have your light structure uh, light beautiful fiberglass uh, trimaran why trimaran what not catamaran well more uh, uh, water line you have less draft you have more weight you can carry with you so for this reason, there is no, no need to think about the catamaran. This additional third one, ponton, is just a benefit for any side which you look on. You see, the deck distances between the pontons are smaller, so materials could be not that uh, rigid, rigid and heavy. Once you have the slide structure, and you have uh, your cabins, here you have around 150 square meters of living space yeah, on one floor like 20 to 22 meters to 7 8 meters then you have same amount of the space on second floor then you can uh, of course you can uh, you see the solar panels on the rooftop you can make those solar panels uh, liftable up and foldable down in stormy weather and so on and for the storage of the boat and you can lift it up you can have a shadow and you can change the angle also of those solar panels on the roof so you always expose the most efficient um, angle to the sun stronger the solar panels you have smaller batteries you need general good engineering and design is always possible to engineer and design the boat in such a way that each structure uh, has a function and also serves as a decoration and then you just decide what you want to do is this boat gonna go uh, here between small islands 50 kilometers maybe you know 100 or this boat gonna be your pri private living yacht and you're gonna be traveling all around the world of course it's not gonna be speed machine when you can uh, travel from uh, over Atlantic or Pacific well for that reason you have this beautiful trimaran over there nimble wind driven fast machine this one is slow your living house your traveling palace so the the purpose travel between the small islands and live the island hopping lifestyle here in the region for this purpose the structure like this is totally sufficient sometimes i think uh, the main uh, additional part which I would like to have it could be the ability to put this boat on a stills maybe eight stills here between the pontoons and those spaces there's a system which you can put uh, in, 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 in install on the boat so once you reach the place like this you can deploy the stills you can lift up the boat a little bit above the uh, high tide level so you don't need to uh, adjust them so the boat can stay on the stills for the months and months and also that's going to enable you to escape the places so where is uh, um, tidal differences maybe you can cut by the tide you can manage the the reefs so this gives you 
ability to move your boat and park your boat freely in, in more and more more places. The places like this are not going to be uh, available everywhere. Well, they uh, they are abundant between the islands. If you know the places, you always will be, find some mangrovey, muddy, sandy places. But in general, the beaches have a little bit stones and a little bit rocks, so you need to have this uh, still system in order to park your boat nearly everywhere. This uh, is a fisherman village, not necessarily the destination like this. That's the boat building place. This boat was built here. There's also uh, another boat builder lives here. But in general, once you reach your destination, you find a nice spot. So you can put your boat on the stills or you put uh, your boat on the anchor. And then uh, you can live and enjoy the lifestyle in this place for the months and months. You have your uh, small dinghy, your boat, which serves you as a car for the groceries and traveling around. And that's your floating living palace. Beautiful two level or maybe even three level trimaran. Like in this case, this is just only two level, but we're gonna talk about the three level living trimaran. You have your beautiful and secure places which uh, shelters you from the rain and then the weather and so on. You have a kitchen, uh, uh, CRs, you know, the, the living spaces. And then you have entertainment deck, second floor. And you have your uh, energy production system on a, on a rooftop. So you're totally sufficient and totally free to live uh, uh, for the months and uh, for the years uh, on this boat and uh, enjoy the beautiful warm tropical climate and nearly any destination wherever you want. You can imagine you are sitting in your boat, you have beautiful windows, you are looking on a beautiful neighborhood islands and the mangroves and other boats. You are in the waterfront, it's a silent, quiet, uh, ecologically clean environment and you have all the amenities which you need with you and uh, close proximity to the civilization you always can take your uh, motorbike or maybe a bike or you can hire someone to go to the city for the groceries so there is no any um, shortages in supplies or essential things uh, which you're going to be missing also the internet Internet connection here in the islands or between islands is sufficient. Of course, it's uh, growing and it's still developing, but it's on the way. And a uh, few years is going to be totally sufficient. And then again, we have a Starlink system, and this is just the first system which already works. And then three, five years is going to be covering all the planet Earth, so you will be able to get internet in high speed in any uh, any place on planet Earth. Then we can discuss the second option, so you can go between the countries. You utilize the seas and maybe sometimes a little bit ocean, but mainly you are in shoreline, you travel between the places and in a distance which is seenable for you and reachable, which is maybe around 50-20 kilometers from the shore, so you are able to 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 go uh, to the safe harbor in any time when you decide when the weather is bad when you see the stormy weather is coming and in modern times when we have those forecast uh, applications in the system so it's very easy to understand when the huge storms come over when the smaller well smaller you're going to be able to survive but the bigger one you can go for the safe harbor and uh, stay in some place park your boat, uh, wait over the storm and then you continue your journey. So the other option if you want to go between uh, different islands utilizing the seas, distance may be daily around 50 to 100 kilometers. So for this reason uh, you need to have a little bit bigger pontons. Those are 1 meter 20, 1 meter 50 you need to have around two meters high pontons. Well, you're gonna add the weight, so your draft gonna be bigger, but then again, you're gonna be able to deal with the bigger waves. You need to have a little bit uh, wider structure. The ratio between the length 
and uh, and and a beam and uh, and a width. Uh, if we have 20 meters uh, along both, the width could be around uh, eight to 10 meters. So wider structure. In this case, we see the the lines of the decks is bended, which is very uh, very smart uh, design uh, feature, which also looks good. But then the, all the water is run, runs down. So the size of the those pontons could be one meter, yeah, well maybe 60 uh, to two meters. Two meters going to be huge pontons. But then again. Uh, there is also pros and cons. You you understand them. On the bigger the structure, more the weight, uh, more weight, more stronger uh, propulsion system you need to have in order to move it. But then you can uh, decrease your draft if you have broader uh, pontons. And if you build a boat, which uh, houseboat, which is uh, mainly um, designed that you're going to be traveling between the islands and between the countries in the region. So it's smart to make the pontons in such a way that they can deal with the waves. They have still decent draft. Draft you can calculate. You, we know Archimedes' uh, the law. You have a uh, uh, more higher pontons, more wider pontons, which is able uh, to accommodate the people, make uh, the living places inside. Of course, you can uh, put your machines, your engines, and all those three pontons. This could be a hybrid system in, in middle ponton. You may have your diesel engine and in, uh, in the side pontons. You may have your electrical uh, engines. Oh, there's many, many different options here. So you have trimaran with the three uh, big, decent size pontons. You're now able to deal with the waves. You have your uh, most heaviest things uh, placed on the pontons. Same time you can have uh, living places on the pontons. And then you can build your beautiful living space. And then you have your entertainment deck, which is also solar panel holding deck which also is liftable. It's always should be liftable. So you, first of all, uh, you have additional space, like 150 square meter space. And also with adjustable angle to the, uh, find the best exposure to the sun. So you have your three floors. First floor living in the pontoons, second floor main, main floor, you can do whatever you want to do. It could be living, it could be entertainment place, it could be many living accommodations and one entertainment place. It's, it's all up to you. So many options are here. And also third floor. More speed you want to have, the lighter structure should be, or you just need to pay more money. You can, you can push heavy boat with the big livable pontons, like two meters by 250. Uh, three pontons and uh, 22 meters by by eight nine meters with uh, boat. No problem with that. You can push that, and you can engineer an aluminium very safely this kind of boat. But then you need to have more tanks for the diesel and stronger engines, so you can push your boat through the waves and uh, get this boat other side of the ocean. Once you're gonna visit this boat and uh, get a trip or around the islands, you totally will understand the value of it. And then you're gonna go back on the shore, you're gonna think, yeah, that was beautiful. And I'm sure that uh, the value which this kind of the lifestyle delivers is nearly uncomparable to anything. Here you can go for the fishing, you can go for the swim, sunbathing, like anything is here in the reach of the five seconds. You can build each three meters some kind of cushioning system. And of course you can build uh, the keel and the boat which is gonna be uh, holding those uh, cushioning systems. So what if you're gonna have a shallow, shallow water and uh, tidal, tidal changes you're always going to be able to leave your boat on the beach uh, without a uh, worry mm, why not uh, fiberglass for me well because of the maintenance as i told you before anything what you build you want to build in such a way that it's, it's low maintenance specifically you build a houseboat you don't want to rush around and uh, deal with the cracks deal with the 
mm, twisting, uh, repairing, uh, seagoing houseboat. Uh, higher pontons, a little bit more uh, rigid structure, better engineering specifically uh, for uh, sea uh, worthiness, for seagoing properties. Like this boat is not designed by itself to go between the the countries. It's designed to serve this small region all around here. So for this reason it's just a perfect. The draft which we saw here in this boat, as you see the line, it's even uh, uh, like 10 centimeters, 15 centimeters from the uh, anti-falling. It's very little draft. 30 centimeters of the draft. 30 centimeters of the draft. Come on guys, for this huge machine. That's enormous. That's huge. That's amazing. And then you can build an ocean-going boat, specifically to cross the oceans and stay in different places with your uh, floating uh, house uh, for the long term. But it's still going to be capable to go uh, over the ocean. For that reason, you have a... Uh, yeah, I will take uh, aluminium as the main material, um, the higher pontons, 2 meters, 250 in height, uh, more rigid structure uh, and of course uh, stronger propulsion systems sun is back and now you can enjoy again your uh, living in the close proximity to the beautiful nature and uh, like I was talking uh, in the beginning of this video about uh, the reasons why should you have the houseboat instead of the having the house or having the condo but the reason is, like always, uh, it's same for the Europe, it's same for the United States, it's same here in Asia. You escape the neighborhood. Why you should escape the neighborhood? Well, in this case, you hear the roosters, the stray dogs, and uh, other um, disturbances which you're going to have in a, in a neighborhood. It's inevitable. Somebody going to build his house, going to rebuild his house, going to be construction noise. Somebody have a noisy dog. Uh, there is a rooster culture which is so totally annoying and unacceptable for us Europeans. So, you see, even if you want to stay in, in a shoreline, enjoy your life in a, in a beautiful village close to the sea line, it's not going to be easy to find a place. It's not going to be, um, yeah, even sometimes even possible. If it's uh, built and engineered in such a way that it's very low maintenance, uh, very well thought through with uh, good materials, with uh, good electrical systems, it's going to be easy to maintain this boat also single-handed. And then again, you can park your boat, you can beach your boat, so many options, and you can travel all those beautiful places and islands. capable to crossing the the waves in the, in the size of the one and a half meter if the waves are only two meters so it should be uh, the front side built it in such a way that you can deal with the waves here we have a good example the front of the boat is built in such a way and in, in such design that it should be capable to deal with the two three meters waves constantly crossing the oceans well is it possible to cross the ocean with this houseboat? Well, I guess yes, it's possible. I will say if you use maybe uh, maybe around uh, 500 to 1 ton kilos of the fiberglass and strengthen all the systems here, you add uh, redundancy engines not just one central one but uh, two redundancy engines diesel ones you put the uh, diesel tanks which is sufficient for this kind of ocean crossing and also of course the rudders should be uh, totally rebuilt and so on well then yeah i guess investment around uh, 40 thousand euros to 50 in the base I talk about just materials without the labor will enable you to cross the oceans even with this uh, houseboat. Cross the ocean, uh, for me, it's not that important. It's going to be crossing maybe once in the five years, maybe in the three years, something like that. Because once you are in the region here, it's a huge amount of islands to travel and enjoy. You wouldn't uh, 
Yeah, you wouldn't be enjoying the rush with this houseboat from one island to other island. Much more enjoyable going to be staying in one place for one month, for half year, another place and so on. So the ocean cross crossing once in a five years, something like that. But it's such a beautiful thing. And once you're standing here in front of those beautiful islands, you know, the nature is just calling you. Go and explore this beautiful nature. And but it can be a better way to explore this nature than the houseboat. Yeah, plywood structure. There's one uh, other uh, interesting person, uh, Nigel in the Negros. I was visiting him uh, before and he builds the catamarans, not like this, but a much more professional catamaran, 60 feet. And uh, also fiberglass and a plywood. And the cost of those catamarans is around 60 to 80 thousand euros. Yeah, you see the basic structure. Self-built plywood, fiberglass, catamaran. But of course, you can't compare that with this one beauty. That's professional thing. That's uh, yeah. Rudder's engine. Definitely, we're gonna be talking more about houseboats here in the Southeast Asia, United States, and Europe. That's gonna be one of the my main topics, a part of the healthy and smart lifestyle. New technologies and uh, propulsion systems, solar panels, batteries battery management system, controllers. And uh, you combine all those knowledge together in uh, good engineering. And then uh, by using CNC machines where you can cut all the necessary parts, it enables us to build a boat like this near in any location uh, in the world. You can order your boat in a, in a container, in a box. And then, uh, yeah, if you have a place close proximity like this to the to the sea line you can build a boat and uh, and launch the boat houseboat culture is growing uh, in a huge steps all around the world particularly in Europe I see people more and more uh, choose uh, living uh, as a living place houseboat I saw it in Norway I saw, saw in Amsterdam I saw so many places around the Europe we know that all the beautiful European channels is full with the houseboats. Uh, and um, it's not going to stop. People like this kind of lifestyle. And uh, as for me, more I travel, more I understand the value of this, uh, this kind of machine. And for me, more I've seen in my life, more experience, I more and more uh, value and the freedom and and, 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 and and a close proximity to the nature which gives you this machine that's the main ingredient for your happy and adventurous lifestyle we saw also this beautiful houseboat trimaran which is in a quality product range and we saw this beautiful trimaran which is a world-class uh, sailing machine so as you see there is options which you can choose from as for me, for the speed, the, the trimaran with the wind-driven trimaran, sail trimaran, that's the best choice. So you can cross the oceans, you can uh, go travel distant uh, islands here with the comfort and the speed. And here you have, and this is a total freedom machine, global freedom machine. So you can travel all around the world, live in any place where you choose then you have totally sufficient uh, systems on the board after the rain we have only one visitor yeah the capability of the boat to to stay in the water on, on the shallow water or, or on the stills for the long term is the uh, most important thing and um, ocean uh, sea sea wardiness and ocean going properties is also important that your boat is built in such a way that it can withstand the waves after one month, yeah, how I feel? I feel totally sufficient. I've been enjoying the quietness of Alona, which is just only because of this pandemic, because there's no people. 
otherwise I, I don't think that I will be able to enjoy it alone because uh, it will be buzzy. As always, this happens in life. And even uh, pretty and beautiful places, they are not enough. You need to have uh, more excitement, you need to have travel opportunities, enjoying a tranquility, peaceful environment. Would I stay another month here? Well, I don't know. I really, I really like uh, wild nature. Clean, unspoiled nature. Which is so difficult to find, of course. Some kind of condo like this in a, in a seafront. Which is good. Which is good, very valuable and so on. But still, it's gonna be just only one place. Only one view for many, many years, for decades. And you want to travel. You still want to see other places. Beautiful Indonesia, Bali. <laughs> yeah, such a pearl. Lombok and uh, Gili Islands. And there's so many beautiful places. Beautiful Thailand. Well, and if you cross the ocean, the uh, Caribbean islands. Bahamas. Islands here in the Pacific Ocean, Bora Bora, Palau, Solomon Islands, French Polynesia, so many things to, to explore and enjoy in one place with a constant view, even if it's good view, one view. No, no guys, no, it's good, but uh, it's not all and you live only one life, why should you? I wouldn't say you wasted, but why should you... Why shouldn't you take the chances and, and options and opportunities to explore other beautiful places? So good swim. Today I totally feel like I'm alone here. Alone on Alona Beach. Yeah, in the stormy days, in the rainy days, it's a little bit more disturbing, that's for sure. But you are so much closer to the nature. And this, this is a main attraction, main entertainment. It's not that many things which can uh, give you more entertainment. Going for the fishing, take the trip to the neighbor islands, visit some kind of local local farm, organic farm, or maybe some other, yeah, some other uh, activities which you find valuable. <laughs> 